This will be a day long remembered. Now I am the master. Welcome to another episode of Legends and Theories, and welcome to my review of Luke Cage. And I'm not going to do a Clone Wars video today because honestly I'm a little sick and I don't really want to be putting all of the effort in right now. And my Multiverse of Madness review will be out tomorrow. I originally had planned to have it out today, but I had to change the day of watching the movie. So, yeah, honestly, I'm going to be watching this movie later today, and I am excited, but let's go over this show. I personally think it was a good show. Definitely not the best of the Netflix and Marvel ones, which are now on Disney+, Plus, but I still think they did a good job. The first season was definitely better. With, I agree with some, I heard some people say about season 2 where season 2 was a little too extended out and probably could have been resolved a lot earlier. Although I did like the last episode being a very reflective episode with not much action. I think that Diamondback was a really interesting villain for the first season. It had some good twists. And then Bushmaster was a decent villain for the second season, although he does get away and basically just leaves everyone. Although he does have sympathetic motivations, he does get away some pretty bad crimes. Well, it's at least better than what the character Mariah did, who went and massacred that entire restaurant. Looking at it, I think that yeah, season 2 was a little too long. It probably could have been cut down by a few episodes. I felt like they wanted two storylines to be told. And by a team by two storylines, it feels like it was two scenes of TV put into one. They were trying to both take down Bushmaster and have Moriah become a powerful mob boss, which eventually leads to her death. And although I think the storyline was good, I think it could have been handled a lot better. This, I think, is a really good show, and it's interesting to have Luke Cage try and become a agent to go and protect his home, well, Harlem, by being with the criminals and trying to regulate it. I'm not sure if he's supposed to be a crime boss or not, but it still is interesting, and looking at everything else, season 2 did have a few interesting things with having a crossover between Daredevil, where Foggy and Nelson does show up. And there's also a crossover with Iron Fist, where Iron Fist shows up for an episode. And also the woman, I don't remember her name, also shows up. Oh yeah, this is a good show. I said not my favorite of the Netflix Marvel ones, but it's still really good. Although I would recommend it. I definitely recommend some other things to see before it. I want to know what you think. Let me know in the comments. And I'll see you all in the next episode of Legends and Theories. Thank you for watching this episode of Legends and Theories. Please subscribe, like the video, share the video, leave a comment, check out the video on screen, and may the force be with you.